Protect the cigarettes! Today is my birthday. So I'm gonna take a couple hours off before this house fills up with a bunch of people and relax in the pool. But the producer says we are going to do a video. Fine. It seems like most of the people or a lot of the people that watch this want to get in real estate. I mean, I've spoken to a lot of people already deep into it. If you want to get in it, listen, number one, have the tools you need. Credit, money, and basically credit and money to get started. <laughs> but without the credit and without some kind of money, you don't need a lot of money, okay? If you never bought a house, you need to go and find out what would it take for you to get an FHA loan. You can go up to four units, I believe. It's 3% down. That's 3,000 on every 100,000. You need to get pre-accrued for that first. You gotta, without the bank and without good credit or some kind of money, you know, you got nothing. Don't waste your time. You gotta have the money to do the deal and you gotta have decent credit. You want people to loan your money. So go meet with a banker and they'll tell you what you gotta do to be that person they want to loan money to if you're unsure. If you're not sure, find out. Well, he taught me the army. The only dumb question is the one you don't ask. Let's start with simple. You find a property for $100,000 or whatever your goal is. The first thing you got to do is go to the bank. You can't do it by yourself. You need bank money. And you're better off with the bank because they put up most of the money, but they don't get a big in a partnership. Okay, all they get is their interest. You know, you start bringing in partners with their money, you're giving away a whole lot more. You need to go and sit down with a bank and say, can you tell me what I need to provide you to get a loan? Any kind, any kind of real estate residential loan. What do I qualify for? If I found an income property that generated income, what would you loan me? How much? That's all you need to do. That's the first step. Because without the money, you got nothing. If you don't have no money, you're going to have to figure out at least, you're going to have some money. You're going to have to have the minimum of $3,000 down payment on an FHA loan. So if you ain't got at least $10,000 in a bank account that you can use, it's not going to affect, it's not going to ruin your life. You know, it's not going to hurt your bills or anything. You don't shouldn't even be thinking about it. The first step is you need 10 grand at least. Because if you buy an FHA deal, you're going to need 3% down, which is 3,000. You're always going to need a couple of thousand for other costs. And then you want to have $5,000 protection or a fix up money, well, whatever. So if you ain't saved up $10,000, I wouldn't even waste your time. That's your first step. Then, once you got 10 grand in bank, your bills are paid, you make sure your credit is halfway decent. These are all things you gotta maybe work on before you can even get into real estate. You gotta have at least decent credit, a few bucks in the bank, and that's called stabilized, or somewhat. Then, you go to the bank. The bank is your friend. They're the ones that are gonna loan you the money for the deal. Before you even think about being in real estate, you better have the financing lined up. You know, find out what your power is. You can only do as much power as you have. You gotta find out what your abilities are to borrow money. FHA is 3% down. VA, I think, is zero down. If you're a veteran, you gotta use the resources you can find. But if you wanna buy income property, I don't know. You're probably gonna be putting 20% down. But you gotta start somewhere. You can start with a one, a two, a three, or four. What kind of percent I'll get if I've got credit? The bank, every, a lot of banks are different. Some banks will loan on different credit levels, but they're gonna make you pay something. Maybe mortgage insurance. Maybe they're gonna not loan you as much money as the next guy. I'm losing air, I'm losing air. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fill her up, baby, fill her up. You know, they ripped me off. And now watch when I'm gonna go back. They're gonna say, no, it was fine when you bought it. We oh, filled up. I exceeded Shaq's weight limit. This is supposed to hold Shaq. It's supposed to be hold me. For all the beginners out there, 
Step number one, you can't do it with zero money. It ain't happening. So if you, the first thing you need to do is, you need to have at least 10 grand saved up in the bank. Step number two, make sure you don't need the 10 grand to use for your bills. All that no money down stuff. Listen, if it works for some people, God bless them. I'm not as smart as they are. I can't go around buying real estate with no money and figuring out all these other ways of doing it. These people are way smarter than me. So I'm telling you the way I do it. With 3% down on FHA or one to four units, 3,000 on 100,000, that ain't much money to need. And then the interest rates are so low right now. The only problem is real estate is still high. Okay, you have to, it's, it's hard to find everything to be perfect. I've hit it a couple of times where interest rates are reasonable, everything else falls into place. Real estate values are low. Unfortunately, real estate's high, at least where I'm at right now. But there's a deal out there to be made. But the first thing you gotta do is have the money to do it. Then once the bank tells you, you know what? If you found a place that was cash flowing, that would be, then you need probably more down. You need about 20% down. If you wanna buy a house, the bank will tell you what you need to be able to accomplish that, okay? And then you do whatever the hell they tell you need. Fix your credit. They wanna see uh, you work in three more months. I don't know. Just give them what they want to get the money. You can't go out and spend it all. You ain't gonna be able to pay for it yourself. If you can do that, you don't need to be in real estate. You're already doing too goddamn good. Get a loan, find a deal, and then we'll talk about bigger deals. But get the first one done. I don't care if it's a mobile home, anything. That's all on how I'm getting started today. Next time we'll talk about income property. Money in, money out. All right, Vincent, forward, march. You're gonna hit the rocks, you're gonna hit the rocks. You're gonna hit the rocks, turn, turn. This ain't made for the lazy river. We need a bigger lazy river.